If you're watching this, that means I'm dead. Well, not really. I mean, I'm not dead. But then again, the older this video gets, the more likely I'm dead. But like, right now, in 2024, I'm not actually dead. Okay, so if I think about it, anything can actually happen between now and the time I post the video. I mean, like, if this video is up in 100 years, and yeah, I'm dead. But for now, as far as I'm aware, I am alive. But my channel has been dead for a while, so let's talk about that. So, I find myself in a bit of a dilemma. First of all, I really want to get back into making videos. But, I've been completely AWOL since 2021. So, I didn't want it to be super jarring for you to suddenly see new posts from me like nothing happened, acting like I didn't just fall off the face of the earth for three years. In case you're so inclined, here's a TLDR if you don't want to watch the whole video. Okay, so, three years ago, my channel basically became a Gundam channel. All my videos went through the move lists of Mobile Suits in the Versus series, and my channel grew off the backs of those videos. I would livestream GBO2, build Gunpla, and that basically became my life during COVID. I'd wake up, do my 9 to 5 job, then get to recording and editing videos that I plan to release weeks later. After several months of this though, it became harder and harder to keep up with my own self-imposed schedule. Eventually, I fell so far behind that I'd record, edit, and post videos all on the same day. It was getting really exhausting. On top of that, I dabbled in trying to create a small video essay on why I quit that crappy-ass Gundam mobile game that came out around that time. Now, editing that video was so fun, and I wrote a few other scripts I planned to create to follow that video up, but it coincided with my burnout, and honestly, I just couldn't do videos anymore. Fatigue had set in, not just with making videos, but everything Gundam related to. At the time, I forgot why I made a channel in the first place. It was because I loved those no commentary walkthrough channels like MK Ice and Fire. And I said to myself, you know what, I could totally do that. But you know what else I wanted to do with this channel? I wanted to make trophy guides. Because I started platinuming games way back when, and I just wanted to put those onto YouTube. I tried it maybe like once on Uncharted 4. Hi everybody, welcome to Quidge Gaming's Trophy Guide Walkthrough for Uncharted 4, A Thief's End for the Sony PlayStation 4. Today we're going for one trophy that a lot of people have difficulty with, uh, but I think it was really really fun. This was the Run the Table trophy. And then I didn't do the whole trophy list, and it was super late, and nobody cared, and I was like, okay, what am I wasting my time here for? But even if I wasn't putting them on YouTube, I love trophy hunting. And when I was playing all those Gundam games, that core motivation for gaming had to take a back seat. So the fun wasn't there anymore. Just as an example, let's take a look at my PSN profiles account. I link that with my PSN profile so that I can see all my trophies and track the progress and the difficulty and the rarity and the blah 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 blah. I'm there all the time. So here's my platinum output just before I started my channel. Platinum's at the wazoo. Even in the early days of making the channel, I was still able to keep up doing the things that I loved with gaming. Before I go any further, at this point, I'm just gonna address the critics and the purists out there who say that trophies are stupid, achievements are dumb, why are you wasting your time on dumb and stupid things? You know what, to that criticism, I have to say, you're probably correct. 
But even so, I still like collecting trophies and I'm not gonna apologize for that because I'm my own man, I don't need no woman. Okay, coming back on topic here. You'll see that I was able to collect trophies back in the day even though I had my channel. But then, you're gonna see a drought start to occur right about here. You've got plenty of incomplete games here. This is stuff that I started but never finished. When I'm making my videos for my channel, I have to move right along to the next game or I would just dabble in stuff that never really held my interest enough to pursue past the beginner level. Or I'd have to devote a lot of time to just one game without playing other games that I enjoyed more. Although I spent 170 plus hours in Gundam Versus, which is probably more than anything I've ever played in my whole life, I didn't get many of the trophies and probably never will. Does that mean I think Gundam games are bad games that don't deserve my time? No, 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 no. I love those games. But I'm not in love with them, you know? I think of them more as a friend. Alright, I'm losing focus here. I stopped making YouTube content completely about three years ago. And here's my output in trophies since then. Note that jump in platinums. And you know what? I am shitting these things out like a night out at Chipotle. Here's the thing. Back when I was making YouTube videos before, I missed gaming the way I loved doing it. And the funny thing is, ever since I've been off YouTube playing each one of these games, I would often just say to myself, damn it, I should have recorded this. <laughs> should have streamed it, you know? I mean, I sank a hole in one in golf for fuck's sake. Is this really happening? Okay, but anyways, let's move on because there are other reasons why I didn't come back either. And, uh, okay, so without getting into too much detail, both of my parents got sick at the same time with terminal illnesses, and I was taking care of them for the better part of two years now. Um, I only have one left. Ironically though, you know, getting back into gaming has kind of helped me manage some of the stress and anxiety I've had to deal with lately. And you know, I, I don't want to bum anyone out, so I'll just kind of leave it at that and move on. Uh, but before I do, I just want to say a quick shout out and thanks to my partner who was helping me with that. And uh, you know, if she wasn't there, um, I would have been completely and utterly you know, overwhelmed, and uh, I'm just grateful I had someone to help me with that. So, yeah, thanks. Uh, okay, anyways, other reasons. Okay, let's see. Um, I was also stuck in a bit of an anxiety hole that I kind of dug for myself here. You know, the lack of posting or interacting with the channel, checking messages and having to keep up with that stuff, it gave me anxiety. I was trying to do too many things at once, and I honestly bit off way more than I could chew. I needed to make videos that needed to be edited and recorded. I needed to make streaming content, and I also needed to keep the social elements of social media. That is the hardest part. I couldn't stay social and also do the same kind of output that I planned to do and I was doing before I did things like streaming, for example. Then it was a case of, well, if you have time to stream, why don't you have time to reply to things? Why don't you have time to communicate better with people? It became a case of, I can't make a video until I start replying to people. But that would just result in me not even making the video and also not responding to all the comments I needed to respond to. I became harder and harder to reach, and it became harder and harder for me to get myself out of the situation and get to making content again. Now, I mean, that being said, if you remember at the start of the video, I even said I wanted to make this video because I needed to explain the previous three years before I made new stuff. I'm not out of that hole yet, but I do think I can probably manage it a bit better. And when I was making videos consistently, I had a personal goal for Maxi Boost, especially. I wanted to make a guide for every single suit in that game. I would have 
love to have completed that. One of the ideas I had to return years ago was to just do footage for the remaining suits. And I had about five of those pre-recorded. I went through the uh, the move list for each of them, I recorded them. All I had to do was edit them and upload them. Before I had a chance to edit them, I was already feeling that kind of anxiety and fatigue with the guides, and so they were just left on the cutting room floor. I never finished the editing process to get them done. The footage is still there somewhere, I'm sure I can find it, and I might even find it and put it in this video. I just haven't really, you know, decided yet, but I honestly don't think I could complete that. I don't know if I can even do more guides for a future Gundam game. I, I have just no clue. I don't know how I feel about it now, and I don't know if I'm capable of even making those videos. I need to be in the right mindset for that, you know? But since that first failed attempt to return to YouTube videos, two big things have changed. And you know what? You can probably identify what those two things are just by looking at my trophy history that we've already seen on psnprofiles.com. First of all, I fell super hard into VR gaming. I bought a PSVR one years ago when it first came out. It basically collected dust for all this time. For the last year, I started to dust it off and started playing all kinds of VR shit. <laughs> Like, all kinds. Since then, I've moved to the PSVR 2, but I also have a Quest 3, and also a Valve Index, and I am waiting for my big screen Beyond to arrive. So, yeah, um, I play a lot of VR now. And you're probably asking, why am I playing so much VR? What is the draw for this uh, VR experience? Well, the answer is, like, Beat Saber. Like, Beat Saber, man. Beat Saber. Holy shit, Beat Saber. When I first picked up that game years and years ago, I said to myself, there is no way I am ever going to get the trophies that this game is asking for. In the time since then, I have platinumed the game twice. Once on PS4, and then again on PS5. I mean, I love this game. This game is amazing. I am probably going to try to 100% it again on Steam if I can. Yeah, I mean, I love Beat Saber. Beat Saber is spectacular. <laughs> but enough about my strange obsession and love for Beat Saber. You know what was the second thing that changed? Well, take a peek at one of my latest Platinums. Yep, I got the Platinum for New Gundam Breaker. Gross, right? Yeah, me, the person who just spent all this time in this video talking mad shit about how he's burned out on Gundam and can't do more Gundam videos, went back to what is considered probably one of the worst Gundam games in recent memory. You know what? I had a blast getting this Platinum. I had a lot of fun. I wanted to do more with the game. I built an ugly ass suit that was pretty good to fight with in any situation. I, I mean, take a moment to just soak in the sexy beast that is this thing. And so, you know what? I liked it. I liked it. It was fun. And that kind of rekindled my interest in the things that I was tired of before. Oh, and uh, yeah, one more thing. You know what else changed? I platted nearly every Sonic game I could get my hands on. I love Sonic games. So that's New Gun to Breaker and Sonic games. I love both of them. Fight me. What was the point of this video again? Shit. I want to make videos again. That's what I want to do. I want to stream VR content. I want to build Gunpla. And I want to platinum games on the channel with you all if you're willing to watch. So if you have made it this far, here's my plan. On weekends, I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to go for maybe one day mixed reality and one day traditional 2D game. I'm going to schedule each stream so you know when to stop in and check it out. If you visit, a like and a sub would be really awesome for the channel. As for edited content that I'm going to record, and snip up and post on YouTube, that'll be less frequent, but I want to take time to create that stuff that I want to create. I am in the process of making more videos, and you're going to see more of them pop up as they pop up, but no promises on dates and deadlines and stuff like that. And uh, finally, you know, to be honest with everyone, if another death happens in my family, I might be AWOL again, because, you know, I mean, I don't know. I can't make promises about that. 
and I'd love to keep on keeping on, but I don't know how that's gonna hit me. So that could, you know, mess me up a bit. Okay, huh. I think I'm done. Um, I'm out of words now. I hope I didn't forget anything. Oh, oh, yeah, um, okay, yeah, thank you for sticking around this long. And, you know, uh, in the video, because it's so long, and also in the channel's lifetime, because if you were here for a while, you know, I really appreciate it. So, I do hope that you enjoy the stuff I have planned. I do hope that I can give you the stuff that I have planned. And um, if you have friends who might like the channel, just share with them. Like and subscribe, as always, smashing that like button, you know, ringing that notification bell for more information, you know, yada yada yada. And uh, I will see you in the next video. But until then, uh, drop a comment if you want anything, uh, you know, uh, in terms of content, and I'll be happy to entertain the idea. So thanks a lot, everyone. Uh, see you soon, and take it easy. Uh, also, uh, I don't know, like, um, how do I end this? Uh, stay in school, and don't do drugs. Uh, just say no to drugs. Okay, good. Okay, bye.